And like I say, if you want world class, you can easily get into the millions. And yet it's also the cheapest instrument there is. Welcome to livingpianos.com. Robert Eston here asking, what is the most expensive and least expensive instrument? There are so many choices. You might wonder, well, you know, the piano, there was a time when digital pianos didn't exist and the cheapest piano was, you know, a thousand dollars go back far enough. Maybe there were a few hundred dollars, but wow, well, with digital pianos, you can get an 88 key digital piano for a few hundred bucks. And what's the most expensive pianos? Well, they're in the hundreds of thousands, 200 to 300,000, unless it's some sculpted work of art. There's some that are worth millions if they were owned by, you know, one of the Beatles or something like that. But generally speaking, the top end is gonna be in the 200 to 300,000 range, unless it's, a, you know, an exotic wood or carved or painted or something of that nature. And the cheapest one may be a few hundred dollars. Well. So that might not be the most expensive or the cheapest. You know, you can get a, a clarinet, a student model clarinet um, for not that much money. Um, there are a lot of instruments that, you know, woodwind trumpets, maybe you can get something for less than a thousand dollars. I'm not up on exactly the price, but orchestral instruments are not that expensive, but you'll be surprised to realize, maybe some of you already clicked, that the most expensive instrument and the least expensive instrument is the same instrument. How can this be? Consider that probably the cheapest instrument you could buy, go on Amazon and see if I'm right, and search out the cheapest violin you can find, and it will probably be the cheapest instrument you can buy. And I'm talking about a real musical instrument, not a kazoo or something or a penny whistle. Yeah. Violins are really cheap. You can probably get one for less than a hundred bucks, a whole kit, something like that. Yet, Stradivarius and other rare violins can be in the millions of dollars. And these aren't works of art, like I talked about pianos that are carved and painted. No, these are just instruments that cost that much. And in fact, it's not just Stradivarius violins. Any great violin is going to be expensive. To get into anything on a pretty high level is already going to be top out at, you know, uh, in the high five figures. And to get into something really world class, you're getting into six figures pretty quickly. And like I say, if you want world class, you could easily get into the millions. And yet it's also the cheapest instrument there is. So I bet you didn't expect that. One instrument is the cheapest and most expensive instrument there is. I hope you find this interesting and any of you who have different ideas about this, leave it in the comments at livingpianos.com and YouTube. Thanks for joining me here at livingpianos.com, your online piano resource.